is the smallest unit of data storage. It can be visualized as a minuscule block that can be magnetized into a permanent magnet. Every red, blue, or gray block in this picture is a bit. The red blocks have north poles facing up, and the blue blocks have north poles facing down. These are what the computer recognizes as ones and zeros. Gray blocks are the empty bits that have not yet been magnetized. The right head is basically an electromagnet with a core appropriately shaped like this to direct the magnetic field into a bit and magnetize it as it passes by. It can magnetize a bit as a north facing up or a north facing down simply by changing the direction of the current in the coil. As you may remember from the earlier sections, reversing the direction of current in an electromagnet results in reversing the direction of the magnetic field. Once written, the bits can be read by the read head, which senses the direction of the magnetic field as it goes over a written bit. An electric motor spins the hard drive's disk at exactly 7,200 revolutions per minute. The circuit board keeps the speed constant. And here's the crucial part. The actuator arms that hold the read right heads. The ends of the arms are split. And right in the middle ride the disk platters. But the heads never actually touch the disks. The space between the head and the surface of the disc is 5,000 times thinner than a human hair. The heads float on a cushion of air created by the spinning discs. An absolutely essential cushion that prevents the head from crashing on the disc. There's no friction to slow things down, so the arms can move the heads to write or access data up to 60 times per second. The engine that drives the arms is invisible because it's an electromagnetic system driven by two forces of nature, electricity and magnetism, which makes the arms move back and forth across the disc at lightning speed. That's it for the components. Now here comes the data. The data is stored inside tiny concentric tracks on the disc's surface. During manufacture, up to 200,000 of these tracks are created on the disc. Each track is divided into sectors. A map of the tracks and sectors in the printed circuit board tells the heads exactly where to read or write information. A magnetic film on the surface memorizes all the information. The heads magnetize microscopic sections of the film and store the data in a sequence of ones or zeros. Each one or zero is called a bit. The value of each bit is determined by the orientation of its magnetic field, plus or minus. And it doesn't take long for the bits to add up. One high quality photo can take up 29 million bits spread across 12 different sectors of the disk. To play back the information on a CD or a CD-ROM disk, a very narrow laser beam is used to strike the microscopic pits or depressions and the flat areas called lands on the disk. When the laser beam hits a pit, the beam is diffused and not reflected back to the photodiode. When the laser beam hits a land, the beam is reflected back to the photodiode. The off and on signals passed on by the photodiode are then processed in ways that cause the display of sound, images, or text. Flash memory is a storage technology widely in use today in things such as USB drives, memory cards, solid-state drives, and mobile devices. Flash memory is a type of non-volatile memory, which means that it holds its state even when the power is shut off, unlike some other types of memory such as DRAM. The key device that flash memory is based on is the floating gate transistor. The floating gate transistor is a variant of the MOSFET but with one small change, which is that an extra gate is added in between the control gate and the body. This extra gate, known as the floating gate, is electrically isolated and has no electrical contacts which means that any charges put on the floating gate will stay there for a long time, for years in fact. 
and that's what allows the floating gate transistor to store data. A flash memory device has all the data encoded as a bunch of charges on these floating gates.